Stop by the firing range before you meet with the director. Our lab boys will have a present for you. Would you like an escort? I know the way. my rights. You don't have any rights here, son. Tell us what you know. Now. But I don't know anything. I was at home, reading the Bible. Ask my old man. Dave, close that. Do you have something for me? Oh yes, come in. The army has asked us to test out a new weapon for them. The Objective Individual Combat Weapon, or OICW for short. Are you familiar with it? Yes, I've heard of it. But everything I've read suggests it won't be available for several years. Yes, that's the Pentagon's official stance. In reality, though, the army is much further along in its development than the general public is aware of. I see. <laughs> Let's try it out, shall we? Of course. The weapon's primary firing apparatus is based on standard 5.56 ammunition. As with your M4, the OICW has single shot, burst fire, and full auto firing modes. Try them out on the target in stall number four. OIC also has a sniper rifle with 20 times magnification capability. Look through the scope if you would, and hit target number three on the head. Notice the tactical readout available in the scope view. In the upper right corner is your rangefinder. In the lower right corner is your ammo count for both 5.56 ammo and grenades. In the lower left corner is a menu, which allows you to choose between weapon, laze, range plus, range minus, and night vision. You can cycle through and select options in the menu using the weapon special three and four keys respectively. Night vision is just what it sounds like. Selecting it turns your scope into a pair of night vision goggles. The weapon entry allows you to choose between 5.56 ammo and grenades. Select Lays when aimed at the target in stall number 2. When you select Lays, a red dot will appear in your view. Line up the crosshair with the red dot to calculate the correct arc for your grenade launcher. Destroy the target with a grenade. Excellent! Remember that the grenades are used for the range you selected when you last used Lays. If the rangefinder decides that the distance is too close, or if you haven't selected lays, the grenade launcher will not fire. Also note that you don't need to laze targets to hit them with 5.56 rounds. Use range plus and range minus to target your grenade in front of or behind your desired target for radius damage. This is especially useful for targeting a window and arcing your shot to go through and beyond it. Try out the range features by destroying the target behind the large wall in stall number one. You can accomplish this by selecting lays on the brick barrier and then using range plus to get the grenade well behind the wall. Good work. The 
the OICW is also equipped with a threat bracket. When you sight in a target, the weapon assesses the threat and highlights enemies in red brackets to identify them as a danger to you. Civilians and innocents are unmarked by the bracket. Our good friends Randy and Richard here will help demonstrate this feature. Look down to the end of the firing range. Notice how Randy is marked as a threat since he is carrying a weapon. <laughs> is not. This thing has everything to do in sync. Indeed it does. Feel free to practice on the firing range until you get the hang of it. It's a lot to take in all at once. Will do. And be careful with that thing. It's a multi-million dollar prototype and the army wouldn't take too kindly to it falling into the wrong hands. Understood. I'll take good care of her. I'm sure you will. Whenever you're finished here, the director will see you in the secure conference room. Thanks again. Gentlemen. All right. One, two, three, go. They're expecting you inside. Ah, John, come in. Mr. Wilson and I were just discussing the unfortunate incident at the armory. Incident? Is that what you call it? An incident? Taylor's dead and Sam is barely hanging on. I wouldn't worry too much about Miss Taylor, John. Our sources are convinced that Taylor was involved in the Armory's destruction. I don't see how that's possible. If she was in on it, why did Prometheus kill her? Who knows? Maybe she had second thoughts about killing Mr. Gladstone. Look, I know Taylor. There's no way she could be responsible. Someone on the inside has been feeding these guys information. Everywhere I've gone, they've been expecting me. We've had our eye on her for some time now, John. We have surveillance photographs of Ms. Taylor making contact with enemy agents. She had a lot of connections to the underworld, which is a big part of the reason we brought her in. It makes perfect sense. Not to me, it doesn't. Watch your mouth, Mullins, or you're gonna find yourself off this assignment. Calm down, both of you. Let's stick to the business at hand. The night the armory was destroyed, Sam Gladstone uploaded all of his research regarding Prometheus and Romulus. He did? Well, I was unaware of that. He did. But the file transfer was interrupted by the explosion. Fortunately, our techs managed to get most of it. And? It seems that Mr. Gladstone uncovered Promethean operations in Kamchatka. He traced Dr. Demetrius Estragor, an old protege of Dr. Ivanovich, to a weapons plant hidden in the mountains there. We believe he's the man responsible for Romulus. What are the mission details? You leave for Kamchatka immediately, capture Dr. Sestragor, and destroy the weapons plant. One question. If this Dr. Sestrigor used to work for Dr. Ivanovich, how do we know the good doctor isn't our mole? Well, Dr. Ivanovich was naturally under our umbrella of suspicion, but his whereabouts have been accounted for at all times. I want you to check out Dr. Ivanovich again. I still think Taylor's innocent in all this. We'll take it under advisement. Yeah, you do that. Good luck, John. We're all counting on you.
Showtime Mullins. I hope you're as good as they say you are. You just make sure you're at the rendezvous point. Don't worry about me. I'll be there. <laughs> if you don't freeze to death first. Everyone's a comedian. Good luck, John. See you at the rendezvous. Обнаружено! Цель потеряна!